Okay, good morning guys. This is Matt here. I am checking in for this week's video log. Um, it's going to be a quick video today. Uh, last week was a pretty decent week. I did real well until the weekend. Then I kind of had some issues with the, my working out, but I still felt like I got a pretty good workout because at work, you know, um, opening those... Uh, two days that I did the end of the week uh, I got in some pretty decent combination almost uh, workout of uh, muscles and cardio because <clears throat> you know all morning I'm consistently moving anywhere from 30 to 60 pound boxes of meat and uh, having to take off the pallet and put it up in the bins so it's a pretty good full body workout uh, as for the deadline diet uh, I'm doing real. I did really well. I ate real decently. Followed my protein to fats most of the day, or protein to carbs. Um, still having a little trouble sometimes getting the fats up there. I, you know. So I guess my question would be: Does it hurt me that if my fats aren't as high as they should be, as in relation to protein? <clears throat> um, because. You know, I'm doing my best trying to eat the right kind of fats. I know that I could eat the wrong kind of fats and get them up there, but I know that we're all trying to. The whole, th the whole, the whole deal of this is to eat the right things, and so uh, I guess that would be my question on that point. Um, but otherwise, uh, I'm doing really good trying to keep my carbs down, uh, keeping them, you know, anywhere from at that 0.5 ratio where they should be to my fat or lower. Uh, yeah, as for the cheese, John, David, that's the one thing I have a hard time cutting out. Um, I know that you'd posted, uh, last week that we needed to cut it out entirely, but I still have a stockpile of cheese and I don't want it to go to waste. Uh, I'm punny. That just, yeah. Anyway, does it hurt that I have maybe a slice with my lunch and that's it for the day? Uh, otherwise, I will do my best to cut it out this week and uh, just eat nothing but my meats and my vegetables. Um, I did cut fruit out last week, like they'd a like you'd ask. Uh, I wasn't too hard since I, I normally don't eat a lot of fruit. I had just bought up some fruit to make those smoothies, you know, a couple weeks back. It's hard to believe that we're almost halfway finished, or actually, we're over halfway finished with the. Uh, this 90 day challenge and I'm really how do you say it I'm really excited about what, what changes have happened in me um, I did make my flex picture for this week it's um, not as impressive as flex pictures from Guillermo or uh, Jason but I feel that if you'd seen my flex picture prior I've made some improvements uh, not a lot of core improvements outside of the fact that my core is smaller I still have way too much fat on my core to even see any of my muscle definition uh, but just the shoulders the arms the upper chest uh, it my neck region those are really starting to trim up and look nice and I'm real happy about that and I'm gonna push harder to get that core <laughs> wrangled down uh, I ended up not being able to get my blood work done just because uh, I had my wife's two different appointments switched up and in order to have been fasted for 12 hours I would have had to make another trip out to the hospital. So I plan to do it this Thursday whenever uh, we go back out for her appointment. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see where my blood sugar and my... Um, <clears throat> oh. Uh, my cholesterol's at just because the last time I had my cholesterol checked they told me it was amazing so if you know I'd like to see the difference of what seven years of bad eating does to it um, otherwise uh, not a lot of difference this week I did notice some changes in my measurements minute changes but uh, you will see those right here. Um, my weight, I lost three pounds last week. So that's, you know, an improvement. 
I know that if I could wrangle in my uh, desire for an entire cheat day on Sundays, I might actually see more improvement. Because generally between Sunday and Monday, I'm, I see a slight weight gain, and then I lose that plus a few pounds every week. So I'd you know, probably lose a lot more if I didn't do that cheat day. But I think the cheat day is what's helping me keep the rest of the week in line because it kind of gives me for something to look forward to. Uh, maybe if I just try to wrangle in my uh, amounts that I eat on Sunday and and, st and maybe even try to fit in a little bit of exercise on Sunday, that might help uh, offset some of that negative gain. Anyway, uh, I believe that's about all I have for today. Uh, I look forward to this next week and what changes may come. So uh, keep your heads up, keep your eyes on the prize. This is Matt. Until next time.